If you've been struggling to make sales in your dropshipping business, to consistently get customers, to consistently make revenue, and you feel like you're doing all of the right things in your e-commerce dropshipping business, and you're still not getting the results you've been wanting for, today's video is for you. Hey, what's going on Empire Builders? Welcome back to another episode. So guys, uh, today's video is going out to those of you that feel like you're doing everything right in your business. You're, you're running ads, you've built out your funnels, you got your Shopify dropshipping store built out, but you're just not getting the conversions. You're getting a ton of traffic, no conversions, and you don't know what you're doing wrong. So that video is dedicated to you guys. And if you're brand new to the Empire Builder family here, and this is your first video, I just want to give you a warm, warm welcome to the e-commerce Empire Builder family. So uh, the one thing I really want to discuss today about uh, uh, how to get some more sales and generate more revenue in your business, guys, is a topic called cr offers, right? Offer creation. Now, some of you guys that are kind of OGs on the channel, you kind of know how to structure offers, but I want to give you guys like good examples today of mundane products. Like you might be selling these in your Shopify store. I recommend you use a funnel, but if you're selling them in your, like, your Shopify store and you're just like, hey, how can I make a, a spatula or a lemon squeezer interesting, right? How do I actually get people to pull the trigger and buy from me? That is what we're going to be talking about. So the thing about uh, offer creation, guys, and uh, really separating the whole purpose of this is to separate yourself from your competition, right? The, the problem with a lot of people is that you're competing against Amazon, you're competing against Walmart, you're competing against a whole bloody red ocean of competitors that are all trying to get the same customers as you. Now, wouldn't it be great to actually uh, be able to create a unique product or a unique offer without actually going and developing your own Shark Tank product idea, but developing your own unique thing that's gonna have your customers choosing to buy your spatulas instead of going to Walmart and buying a spatula and that's what we do here at the e-commerce empire builders guys is we create offers we create irresistible offers to have our customer buying from us instead of anybody else and this works for any sort of product out there it doesn't matter if you're doing affiliate marketing e-commerce information doesn't matter this applies to principles even in real life to get people to do stuff for you okay it's all about creating irresistible offers so let's take a, a mundane example and I just went on Amazon.com and I just searched for the most random thing and I just was like, okay, you know what? Let's do let's do spatulas, right? So let's say you want to sell a spatula. Now, here's the problem, guys. Like, if you're just trying to sell a spatula, like, that's not cool because guess what? That is so broad. Just selling this, everybody, everybody in America, everybody in the world needs a spatula, right? There's not a person out there that doesn't need a spatula if they own a kitchen. Right? So the first step in actually uh, creating an offer is actually understanding your niche, right? Understanding your niche. Now, here is where you get uh, your unfair advantage in e-commerce, guys, right? As opposed to somebody going to Amazon or, or Walmart is you have an unfair advantage is because you can niche down, right? You can really, I call these laser targeted niches. All right, you can laser laser niche down because when you laser niche down, you can specifically target spatulas for let's say you know people who like uh, barbecue or uh, you know people that are home chefs or people that are chefs or whatever it is, right? You have to identify. So for the sake for the sake of this example. If you're selling a mundane product, it doesn't matter what product you're selling, guys, you have to identify the niche that we're actually going to create this offer around, right? You have to have a niche that we're going to sell this offer to. So, for example, with this one, we'll just say, hey, we're going to sell spatulas for, you know, people who, like, enjoy barbecuing, right? So these are, like, the people that, you know, they like grilling, they like, they like barbecuing outdoors, right? They're, like, the manly man, right? They love manning the grill in the summer times. They love cooking. They love smoking meats. All those good things, right? So the first step is always identifying what's a laser targeted niche. I'm sorry, you cannot create this, what we're about to go through, if you don't have a laser targeted niche because every product solves a problem, guys. Every product solves a problem out there. But you cannot be super broad. You don't have enough capacity. You don't have enough time. You don't have enough energy. You don't have enough resources to go and try and serve everybody. You just don't have the time, right? So this is where you have that unfair competitive advantage to be like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to target people that are into barbecue and I'm going to sell them my spatula, right? This is where you expose a huge, huge, huge opportunity. Now, right, we have our laser targeted niche. Now, how do we create something irresistible for them to choose us over going to a competitor or buying from anybody else out there on the internet from the millions of stores that they can buy spatulas for? Well, for one, 
this is where we go full immersion, right? We have to fully immerse ourselves in this barbecue niche, right? We'll join Facebook groups, YouTube channels, we'll read magazines, right? All the places that we need to see what's going on. Another place that I like to look is like the frequently, frequently bought together. I'll just write FBT, frequently bought together on Amazon. I will go on Amazon, I'll look what's frequently bought together with the with the with the with a barbecue spatula and see what are other people buying. So for example, maybe I find like a low ticket product that I can bundle in with this spatula, right? For example, like a um like a little spatula uh, like hook. And I'm doing this off the cuff, guys. I did not rehearse this at all. So however this thing works out, it works out. But let's say it's like a little hook thing that they can hook on their grill. So like a grill hook, right? Grill hook. Now, grill hook, right? This is super low cost probably. We could probably get this from the same supplier that we're getting a spatula for. And our cost for, let's say, a spatula, right, is like a dollar, right? Let's say the grill hook probably costs like 25 cents in added cost to us, right? So the thing is, with this, it will increase the perceived value of the offer to our customer, guys. It'll drastically e increase the perceived value. So even though it might add a little bit of overhead cost to us, it's going to up that perceived value, which when you up, up, up perceived value, guys, you actually are give your customer will actually feel like they're getting a tremendous deal as compared to going to Amazon or wherever. Now, the next thing, I don't like usually having more than two physical products in a in an offer, guys. I usually like to do low ticket or low cost uh, to me things. So I like to do information products. I like to do like one or two information products. So we have the niche, right? Barbecue, right? What information do they want to know? Right? What kind of information would people who like who, who enjoy barbecuing would want to understand or know or learn more about? Now, this is where you gotta understand this niche, right? I'm not into barbecue, so I don't really know. So what things that I would do is I would go on Amazon, go look at the books out there that people are buying related to barbecue, right? So let's just we'll write out some of these places that you guys can get information products from, right? Amazon, right? Go look at the ebooks that are already sold on Amazon. Amazon ebooks. Right, you can go to ClickBank. Right, I want to see what are they buying on ClickBank. Right, if you go to ClickBank.com, you could search all these different kinds of products. I'll search barbecue. Right, and a lot, there's going to be a ton of information products related to that. Right, I can also go to different kinds of PLR, right, private label right websites where I can license information products. So I can go to a PLR web website. There's millions of them out there, and I can pay 20 bucks to get like. 10 different kinds of information products related to barbecue and I can resell them. And then I can add those all in to my offer right here to make it really irresistible, to make my customer feel like, oh man, I'm getting an amazing, absolutely an amazing deal from here. Why would I not buy this from him? Okay, so that's exactly what you wanna do. These are probably my favorite places to go. Amazon eBooks, ClickBank, PLR. There's a couple other ninja ways to, to go get more stuff into your offer, but we're not gonna get into all of that stuff right now. But understand, people will pay for information from you guys. You can also do like, if you're like really into barbecue yourself, and I re recommend you guys to be into the whatever niche that you, you pick. It, it makes this business much more enjoyable. I, honestly, like if you love your business and you enjoy this process, right? Like you should be able to make content for yourself. So different kinds of tutorial videos, right? Different kinds of tutorial videos, people, uh, people go crazy for, they love this kind of stuff. Right, so like maybe a, a video of you uh, showing your top ten tips for grilling the perfect chicken and barbecue ribs and all this stuff. Now I'm getting hungry. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like they, they, people want to see that kind of stuff. Videos work well. Interviews work really well. We did these a lot for our fishing businesses, like interviews with uh, with professionals giving their top tips. Right, bundling these together and the offer to to really separate ourselves from all our competitors. Right, so now you can see, like, as we're starting to compile this, and of course, this takes a little bit of time on your part, guys. It takes a little bit of time, but guess what? This kind of offer you can run evergreen forever and ever and ever, right, guys? Like, think about it they can go to Amazon.com, they can buy a spatula, or they can come to us, where guess what? They're gonna get a spatula, they're gonna get a grill hook holder, they're gonna get an ebook teaching them the top 10 tips on, um, on, on, on grilling the perfect barbecue ribs, right? They're gonna get a, uh, another ebook t teaching them the, the top 10 tips to grill the perfect chicken, right? Then they're gonna get top interviews with barbecue pit masters from all across the country sharing their secrets to their barbecue success, right? Total value, we always wanna show total value, right? 
total value, right? Let's say, oh, this whole entire offer, you know, costs, we'll, we'll have a value associated to each of these things, obviously. Total value, let's say it's like $147.99. Uh, uh, yours today, yours today, only, uh, you know, let's say $14.99, right? Let's say for a spatula, right? For a spatula. So usually, the, some of you guys might be thinking, well, Pete, like, if I'm adding all these kind of things, can I charge what I want? Can I charge more? Absolutely, you can, right? It's something you want to split test. But what I like to do is really give myself an, uh, uh, a competitive advantage over all of my competitors and give my, uh, give, give my customers absolutely no reason whatsoever to not buy from me. So what I'll do is this price that I'm charging them, I'll actually try as my best to make it comparable to the spatula they can get on Amazon, right? So let's say there's a good high quality spatula on Amazon for $14.99 and mine's a good high quality uh, uh, product as well, right? I will now sell it also for the same exact price, but I'll include all of these amazing things with mine, right? So they can't get this absolutely anywhere else. They can't get this anywhere else. And this is what separates me from all of my competitors. It gets my customers when they come to me, they come to my sales funnels and they see the effort that I've put in to help them get the result that they want, which is right. Making better barbecue food, make, uh, having good, bar better barbecue, uh, meals and teaching them how to actually know how to barbecue better when they have friends, family parties coming over, they'll feel more understood and they'll always pull out their credit card and buy from me. If you're brand new to e-commerce and you want to learn this stuff more in depth, I encourage you guys, check out that sales funnel masterclass down in the description of this video. I walk you through how to then take this offer, plug it into a sales funnel and continuity programs and all these amazing things and then starting driving traffic to it. So again, I encourage you guys to check that out. It's a sales funnel masterclass. It'll be down in the description below. And if you're brand new to the e-commerce empire builder channel and you like what you saw here, what we're talking about on this channel, I encourage you guys smash that subscribe button, turn the little notification bell on, smash the like button for me. I appreciate every single one of the likes that you guys give me and they're 100% free to you if I provided you any sort of value today. And if you have any questions whatsoever about the content that we just talked about, make sure you drop a comment down below. Guys, I always make some time out of my day to answer uh, any questions that you guys post down there in the, uh, the comment section. But guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you have an Absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember, your empire starts now.